It almost goes without saying how much recent events have profoundly disrupted the way we live our lives. Like me, you might have experienced any number of disruptions to your life, including perhaps the loss or change of employment, extreme weather, social isolation, or even health challenges due to the COVID virus. The word disruption can have a couple of meanings. It can mean the occurrence of a problem that adversely impacts the way we normally perform an activity. It can also mean a radical change to an existing industry due to a new technology. Myself, I personally experienced a profound disruption soon after I started my new job in the legal department of Google in early 2020. I flew out to California and participated in what they call Noogler orientation. Noogler is a new Googler. And a couple weeks later, Google announced to its employees that all locations worldwide are, are being closed and we all had to perform our work remotely for the foreseeable future due to the pandemic COVID virus. I've seen very few colleagues in person ever since, and I imagine that many of you have experienced much of the same. And really, it's, it's hard to express the depth of the disruption that, that this has caused to all of us. But this has also caused me to reflect on another type of disruption that we are also all experiencing that may be a little bit less obvious, a disruption that's representing a radical change by a new technology. The industry being disrupted is our in-house legal profession. And the innovative technology that's causing this disruption is increasingly powerful legal automation. Now, legal automation isn't the only disruptive technology in use, of course. So much advanced technology has become embedded in the very fabric of how we work and live. Think of your smartphone, your use of social media, your use of translation apps and navigation apps and voice recognition bots and the like. And some of the most commonly used verbs, to Uber, to Google, to Zoom, among many others. These words have only come about in the last 20 years or so and have changed the way that we talk about our everyday activities. In the business context, the availability of sophisticated communication and collaboration tools that allow us to access applications online and manage data and content and run our businesses. Everything we need to perform our jobs anywhere, anytime from remote, remote locations. All of this has contributed mightily to the ability of our companies to continue operating during the COVID pandemic. And by continuing to operate, of course, this has saved millions of jobs in this country and around the world, and perhaps including yours and mine. Numerous studies have confirmed how much the pandemic has greatly accelerated the digital transformation of companies, with technology projects now taking just weeks or months instead of years. Studies show that AI-powered capabilities are being adopted at a compound annual rate of over 36%. And Thomson Reuters estimates that the spending on legal automation service providers will have grown by some 700% by the decade ending at 2027. So what struck me that underlying many of these advanced technologies is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a disruptive technology that is challenging, indeed changing, the way that we practice law. This is happening quietly, but yet very quickly, and has profound implications for the way that we perform our work as corporate counsel in the future. Artificial intelligence is a broad discipline with the goal of creating intelligent machines, machines that can emulate and then eventually exceed the full range of human cognition. This would include a whole variety of areas that were formerly once believed to be solely within the province of being done by people in areas such as image recognition, natural language generation, the operation of machinery or vehicles or other adaptive behavior like perceiving and navigating within physical environments, identifying, generating, understanding and retaining new information making predictions, suggestions, recommendations, and even taking actions autonomously based on all of that. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is of course a metaphor. It's fundamentally different than human intelligence in a number of ways. Human intelligence, the, the human brain, is composed of billions of neurons 
that are interconnected in asynchronous and multidimensional ways that allow us in, to engage in the creative processing of information. We experience this as thoughts, feelings, ideas, imagination, empathy, and understanding. Artificial intelligence, on the other hand, is highly advanced computer software that mimics human brain function. And it does so by finding patterns in, and signals in vast data sets that might not otherwise be obvious. And it does this through the use of mathematical processing of information. We see this in the results and recommendations in the various computer apps we use. I believe that the difference between the creative processing of information on one hand versus the mathematical processing of information on the other hand is key for us to navigate the most fundamental source of disruption to our careers as in-house legal counsel, and that we need to keep this in mind, or even foremost in mind, as we plan our career development into the future. Certainly, AI machines offer us powerful benefits. They're faster than we are. They can be more accurate and produce fewer errors. They don't get tired or distracted. They can operate 24 hours a day, and they don't need to take vacations. They can help us perform our jobs better, faster, more reliably. Examples of AI-infused technology that have been around for a while are legal research tools that enable us to perform that kind of work faster and more comprehensively in reviewing of legal content and court opinions and regulations and the like. And e-discovery and predictive analytics tools that allow us to analyze large data sets and identify specific helpful documents and content even evaluating the records of judges and rendering predictions and recommendations about the course of a litigation. But presently, and right around the corner, there's some even more powerful tools that are being adopted. AI tools that can scan the web for the use of trademarks and brands, along with the contextual analysis of how exactly those trademarks and brands are being used. Contract generation tools that enable the automated creation of legal documents and content. Contract analysis tools that identify and extract key information and, and use highly sophisticated semantic understanding of language. And emotional and sentiment analysis. This is a capability that can help us determine whether an expression, either in text or even by people, whether that is positive or negative. So what a powerful combination this is. Very smart and capable lawyers using increasingly sophisticated AI-backed tools. We can use these tools to automate the more routine stuff and focus our attention on the more interesting part of our jobs. So all this seems great for our future as in-house legal counsel, doesn't it? I mean, what could go wrong? But wait a minute. What about the other side of the digital disruption coin? You may have heard the concerns about artificial intelligence, with Elon Musk saying, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. And Dr. Stephen Hawking saying, the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. And about the legal profession, you may have seen the headlines, the rise of the robo-lawyers and armies of expensive lawyers replaced by software, among others. Surely, this has to be exaggerated. Could our legal jobs really be replaced by artificially intelligent robots? There are a number of studies done on AI-based capabilities, which are increasingly available, powerful, reliable, and cost-effective. How these can impact the future role of the lawyer. A study by the consulting firm McKinsey found that 23% of the average lawyer's job could be automated. And according to the analyst firm Gartner, by 2024, legal departments will have automated some 50% of work related to major corporate transactions. Meanwhile, an Alton Weil survey says that about half of law firms are using legal technology to replace human resources, and about a quarter are already losing business from companies as those companies are replacing the need for human-rendered legal tasks by automation. And finally, a study by Deloitte estimates that some 100,000 legal jobs in the UK can be eliminated by automation by 2025. One example you may have already heard of, in one recent year, J.P. Morgan Chase saved some 360,000 hours of legal time to conduct document reviews 
that were performed by AI-based machines within seconds. The irony is that the power of AI-backed technologies that have saved our jobs to date may in fact be threatening our jobs in the future. Why would this happen? Well, we talked about how businesses are undergoing a significant digital transformation effort at a greatly accelerated rate. This means that businesses are laser focused on using technology to make their functions and operations more efficient, more impactful, and cost effective. And those operations, of course, include the in-house legal function. With AI being so highly efficient, those machines are faster and less expensive to operate than if we would try to do the same tasks manually ourselves. And moreover, businesses, including the legal profession, are literally drowning in data. I, I saw a reference to an a, a new AI tool recently that was developed on some 3.5 million de decisions rendered by federal courts. Businesses in the legal profession are faced with an imperative to be able to view and review vast data sets like that much more effectively. AI machines can review huge amounts of legal content, more than is physically possible by even teams of human lawyers, while all the while enabling the discovery and deeper analysis of new and previously unknown information to such an extent that would not have been able to be even imagined in the past. The foundations of legal work, the document and record review, information analysis, case and transaction planning, database predictions and recommendations, legal process optimization, all of this is at the very heart of what automation excels at. As I reflect on these trends, it's not as if a, one day a supremely intelligent robot will be sitting next to you in the office. It, it's nothing like that at all. But with digital transformation efforts and the demand for improvements of efficiency, effectiveness, and cost reduction, AI-based legal automation will necessarily take over those more repeatable parts of our legal jobs. Certainly right now, AI-based legal automation is very narrow in scope and it's designed only to solve single problems. So that kind of automation is well suited to perform the somewhat more routine, repetitive, mundane and perhaps less creative parts of our jobs. But within what the tools currently do, they're beginning to move upstream from performing only simple repetitive tasks to performing much more sophisticated work. AI may in fact be moving from a human supervised tool that assists you in performing your role to a human supervising tool where much work will be eventually overseen and even directed by software. Legal automation may be moving from the assembly line on the factory floor up to middle management, so to speak, where lawyers become more and more guided in the performance of their tasks based on the processes and the outputs and the recommendations generated by artificial intelligence. And as our work becomes more broken up into tasks that can be automated, this is already reducing the number of human lawyers required by in-house legal departments to perform that very type of work. So, what, what to do? How do we as lawyers navigate our future careers that seem to be increasingly at risk by legal automation? The answer is you have a superpower and you should use it. Let's go back to the difference between the creative, multidimensional processing of information by the human brain versus the mathematical-based processing of information by machines. With machines being able to perform many of the repetitive, basic tasks of legal work better than we can, what's left are the creative and client-focused, pro-social parts of the job. Your superpower is your creativity and your ability to deeply understand the needs and goals of your stakeholder clients. And this is a superpower in the sense that you will generate more trust and higher value than machines are capable of. And a job that is focused on creative problem solving and deeply understanding clients' needs is much safer than one that simply involves the making or doing of task-based things. So, here are a few ideas on how to enhance your superpower of human-centric creativity. First, your success should not be solely built on how fast you can review, draft, and deliver your work. Machines are phenomenally good at performing at speed and scale. 
Now, certainly as a lawyer, you need to perform your role in an efficient manner. We know that. But because machines are designed and optimized to do just that, look to avoid providing the principal value of your work in working long hours producing a prodigious amount of output, especially the type of work that a machine could eventually do. Second, your work should involve areas in which there is significant unpredictability, ambiguity, or variability. Machines are extremely capable at working in stable environments with well-defined rules and consistent data and clear goals and the like. Again, don't try to outcompete the machines on what they do best. Look to focus your value in areas where machines are not well suited to operate, like in areas where there is unsettled or ambiguous law or rapidly changing facts, circumstances, or goals, or where there may be more than one right answer or no right answers at all. Third, define your value by serving as a client-focused, trusted legal advisor rather than a process-focused deliverer of legal output. Don't underestimate this difference. Our stakeholder clients are people, of course, and clients want human-centric advice and guidance, not just abstracted legal output and guidelines. So your superpower is to focus on providing creative, highly personalized legal services that solve business problems for clients, delivered with the use of pro-social, non-cognitive skills that meet the client's need for understanding and trust. Practically speaking, do what the machines can't do. Look to understand the client's needs and influence and reframe the issues, the problems, and the goals. Employ critical thinking skills and excel at nuanced and advanced legal judgment and incorporate ethical frameworks to help define what actions are right or maybe wrong. And do this all with empathy. AI can't interact or feel with emotions like empathy or compassion or otherwise make the client feel understood or listened to. Fourth, avoid hyper-specialization. With AI machines being very powerful but narrow in their focus, remember, an AI tool, again, is currently designed to solve only a single problem, you should do the opposite. Consider yourself a general counsel and develop knowledge and experiences across different legal areas. Draw in knowledge from non-legal domains such as business, accounting, technology, and psychology by providing perspectives informed by various areas. You will develop a combinational creativity in the performance of your work that machines can't hope to replicate or replace. This is your superpower. So embrace continuous learning and continuous professional growth. Improve existing skills and apply them to new areas and become a true business counselor to your stakeholder clients. Understand and speak their language. Become invested in their success. Solve their problems rather than just delivering narrow output on discrete legal topics. And fifth, finally, don't be afraid of these tools. Use them, embrace them, learn them, get to know their capabilities, their strengths, their weaknesses, what information they ingest, what they serve as output, and how they can be integrated into your projects. Remember that companies are in the midst of an accelerated digital transformation, and the in-house legal function will be no exception to this trend. So don't be reactive about this. Strive to be a leader, a thought leader, in respect to the very best, most appropriate, and highest value uses of AI-based legal automation, and help us lead this evolution in our field in a positive, human-centric direction. So, with this new normal of increasingly powerful legal automation and how you should develop your skills for higher value and more personalized legal service, Seize this as positive news. This will elevate your in-house legal role and make your practice better, more fulfilling, and more interesting. And along the way, focus on building your superpower of creative, human-centric soft skills with the human touch of understanding and empathy. And in, as intelligent automation performs more task-based work, this reimagining and reinvention of how you perform your role will not only help you preserve your job, but lead you to even greater success and satisfaction in the future with artificial intelligence.